<laughs> Can I shout you a coffee? Yeah, you might as well. Look, I'm not going to catch the game now. Not Beth, but I wouldn't prefer your company anyway. Yeah, that was a fairly good say. <laughs> so, um, you sure things are over between you and Martha? Yeah, I'm dead and buried, mate. No chance of working it out. Not a chance. It's like banging your head against a brick wall. Yeah, right. So, um, how would you feel if I asked her out? I... I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. I was. No, no, no. It's it's fine. You just uh, you just caught me off guard. That's all. If if you want to ask her out, you should go for it. I mean, don't let me stop you. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're over. Um, I'll be back. See you. Hi. Want to sit down? Yeah, sure. So, um, I just wanted to check. Uh, last night you said you were ready to move on from Jack and if someone were to ask you out, you'd say yes. Did you mean that? Yeah, definitely. But, um, how about drinks tonight? What time are you picking me up? <laughs> It seems really weird that they make all this mess and not actually take anything. Yeah, well, the cops reckon they might have just been after easy cash. Excuse me. Well, if you're sure it's the only time I can get in. OK, I'll take it. Thanks. The only appointment I can get with Dr Free's replacement is this afternoon. This isn't locked. What? I locked it before, now it's unlocked. I, I had to take a load of washing outside, I couldn't lock it because I was here. Hayley, I was here this morning. It didn't stop him from getting in, did it? I had to take another load out. Well, for God's sake! If we've got deadlocks, we've got to flip them, we'll use them. Especially if there's people watching the joint. I'm sorry, OK? It won't happen again. Good. Um, I've got to go. What's up? Dylan's been in an accident. What? Is he alright? I don't know. I don't, he's in hospital. Okay, I'll, I'll drive you. Okay. Um, I'm really sorry. Is that alright? Well, sweetheart, of course it is. God, you've got to go to your brother. But listen, you, you tell him to look after himself yeah. and, and let us know what's I will, going on. I will. See you. Mm -hmm. um, alright. See, See you guys. See you. Hayley, where's my bag? What? Um, my bag. It was right here, now it's gone. Oh, it's got to be here somewhere. It's gone! Uh, uh, Ivory! Uh, somebody's come and taken it. Well, you, well, you were hanging stuff on the line before. Oh. They've got in and they, they've taken it. I was only out there for two seconds. Love, it doesn't matter. That's all it takes. Oh. Mystery solved. I promise I'll be back as quick as I can from the hospital, so you won't be here by yourself for two hours. Ah, welcome to the world of dare, Talia. Remember, this was your idea to be fun. I was perfectly happy watching the movie. It was you guys who <laughs> were complaining. Maddie, we haven't got all day. Are you going to do this or not? This is what they call social death. Ah, not yet, but it's about to be. <laughs> Australians, all let us rejoice, for we are young and free. We've gold and soil and wealth, for tall our home is girt by sea. And a bounce of beauty, rich and rare. In oh, for heaven's sake, Matilda, I'm a patriotic person, but there's a time and place. We're going to have man's best bit. In joyful strains, and let us sing Advance Australia Fair. <laughs> so, Maddie, I'm just wondering if you're all prepared for the, um, the half-time footy grand final. I'm never going to hear the end of this, am I? <laughs> oh, don't worry, the pressure will be off you soon. Because if Rick's so smart, I think he should be the one to go next. All right, I'll do anything <laughs> as long as I get to keep my clothes on. Oh, don't worry, you will. Clothes and a whole lot more. Nice little legs you've got there, mate. 
<laughs> yeah, you really should show them all more. But in the meantime, you know, the dare's only half done. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, Grandad. Um, can I just have five juices, please? I don't know what happened to you. <laughs> Strike me, flame and answer. What's going on? <laughs> Nobody got hurt. Nothing got taken. It's just she's been kind of irrational. Well, it can't be easy. I mean, first she's had the accident with Amanda, and then the breaking. No, no. But, you know, it just feels like there's something else going on. She's not herself. I mean, she actually thinks there's someone after her. Who is it? Who's there? Who is it? What are you doing? It's not funny! <laughs> Seriously, Rick, any time you want to borrow some of my stuff, it's yours. Yeah, I've got this really cute little green skirt you look great in. Especially with a boob shoe. Yeah, add some pink stilettos and I reckon you're on a winner. <laughs> OK, you know what? You guys can bag me as much as you like. But... If Grandad actually thinks this is for real, I'm about to have an extremely embarrassing talk. <clears throat> Son, I might not agree with your choices, but flame and hell, I'm always going to love you just the same. <laughs> it's really funny. You're funny. You're too funny. <laughs> okay, I've done my day. Now, whose turn to suffer is it? Me. I just... I want to get it over and done with. You get on really well with your brother, don't you? Yeah, why? That may be about to change. It's the mole in the cave.